Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at FTM. We haven't looked at this coin for a few days now, but it seems to have played out quite nicely to the TA that we had previously put out. And um, yeah, basically we're going to, if you want to look that up, just jump onto the Crypto Rosetta channel, search up the FTM videos, and then it'll be there for you to find. But before we jump into the price action, I want to just say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy the content, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and why not leave us um, a comment down below? That can be a coin request or any kind of feedback that you may have regarding the channel or the videos. Please just drop it in there. Okay, so let's get into this price action. So there were two ways that we were initially looking at this move, and if I just switch between them here quickly, uh, what we were looking at is either the potential that we completed here and we were starting to make some corrective structure, but the fact of how we've reacted off here and the fact we're getting this five wave movement to the upside is making me think that the other option which we were tracking, which is this one, is more, more actually what's playing out. So this, this is slightly different because the way that we look at this one is that we've had a wave one into this wave one, two, and then we've had an extension in this wave three. So this wave three actually ends one wave further, and then this is all a wave four. So this also lines up with the fact that we have a five wave or a zigzag here and we have a flat correction here. So this is what's leading me to believe that we're in this fourth wave correction. We've also, if I just quickly throw the fib in here so everyone can see it, basically there's a typical fourth wave location um, or fib retracement that comes at this 0 0.382. This is not quite in the right place. There we go. And we can see that we've had a good reaction off this zone, this 22.59 area. We've had this move to the upside here. So we were tracking for the potential of this fifth wave to the upside, which is looking to target out between this 27.15 to this 28.86 area. Though, because we've had this extension in the third, it is also possible we might not quite get there. And if I just quickly set this fib up on the bottom here, if it will go on that bottom point. Come on, come on, there you go. Okay, and then we bring this up into this zone, and I'm just going to drop that there for a second. So what I'm doing here is basically transposing the length of the wave 1 to the wave 5, because what happens sometimes is we can get, when we have an extension in this third wave, we can get a wave 5 that meets, that sort of heads towards this 1 to 1 area. And this 1 to 1 area is this 22.2662 area. So we've got this lined up here, this little bit low, let's move it up. There we go, that should do it, 62, okay. So now within this substructure here, it's a little bit difficult to read this at the moment. It could be a completed move, or this could be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into here, and then this is a wave 3 and to this high point, and then we've got a fourth wave to come. So the um, we don't quite we don't reach uh, the 1.618 here, but it doesn't mean that we can't still progress in a five wave move as long as this wave three is not the shortest uh, then it is still possible that we could be looking uh, for for this fifth wave it is also possible that we might get some extension here and maybe that we have a situation where this is a wave one we have a wave two and we're looking for um, more progression to the upside the way that you count this then is that this is a one two all of this is a three four and an extension in the fifth and we've made a wave two so with this move, if that's the case, uh, we'd only get we'd only get confirmation of this by forming a bigger uh, bigger five wave move here, which would look to target out this 30 cent 50 area, which uh, I'm not thinking is very likely, but it's worth keeping an eye on. If we start to get some impulsive movement towards this 30 cent 50 area, then what we would be looking at is a bigger one, two, three, four, and five for this fifth wave. Though, like I said, it's not. This is the typical area for it, and because we've had some extension within this third wave, it's not very likely that we're going to get a, a bigger move to the upside like this. But it is worth tracking. So keep an eye on that 30 cent 50 range. If we move up past that, then we could have a bigger impulsive move here. In the immediate short term, though, I, the way I'm currently looking at this move is that we have a one, two, three, all of this is a fourth, and we're looking for this fifth wave move to the upside. This would tie in quite well with this um, with this one to one area. And the this this box over here, the, the 2636, 
to the 2588 could be a potential area that we look to travel with this though we need to bear in mind we we do have some um this structure here is quite overlapping but it could potentially be a um, diagonal shape within this move so we'll have to make sure that we don't have um, some more continuation to the downside in this being an a this being a b and then we still have some some um, room to the downside to drop here in a c wave though for as long as we hold this point here of 2433 actually if we hold let me move it here because this is actually where we take our point from this 2455 then it is possible that we could be looking for this um, move up into this zone should this extend out we were looking for this uh, this top zone here so if we do start to break down basically we'd have to keep an eye because remember we said that this could be a completed five wave movement here so this could be a wave one this could be an a wave potentially or an a and this is a b and then we're looking for a c wave to the downside so there's a few things that we need to keep an eye on here but if we start to break down what i would be looking for is a uh, potential support to come in here if i just mark this up at this 0 0.50 area to this 786 and this could indicate that maybe we have a um we have a wave two that is in the making here and what this would be looking for is basically the the move to the upside to to be completed in this zone over here and we could look for a retracement down here before looking for that third wave push to the upside if that is the case if i just measure off this low point let's measure it off here and we go to this high point what we'd be looking for for confirmation is a move past this 20 29 25 area for um, the impulsive trigger then a fourth and fifth wave to the upside and uh, this would take us roughly if i just quickly throw this down there we just measure this out if this bigger move plays out we would be looking to potentially target out this 2989 to the 3086 area if we play out like this though this would only be viable if we have this drop to the downside for as long as if we stay above this zone here what we could just have is a smaller corrective move and then we just look to push up in a, um, a wave three four and five there is like we because we can count this potentially as a as a five wave move um we need to be aware that there could be an extension within this wave one and then maybe these third and so this third and fifth wave just won't be as long as well it, it's just something we're keeping an eye on but we we want to break back above this 2558 for confirmation that we're within this fifth wave if we fail to break above there like i said we would be looking then for potential to move down into the support area though losing this 2237 area would invalidate that possibility and then i'd be looking for potentially more uh, more of a correction to the downside here and potentially to target out this um, 20 cent 73 to this 1758 area upon completion of this five wave move we are expecting continuation to the downside and the only way that that would be invalidated is actually if we move back above this high point here at uh let me just drop this on here on there there we go 3150 moving back above 3150 would make us have to reevaluate the structure but until for, for uh, until the point that we do basically the macro view is still like we talked about last time that we are looking for potential of forming a um, diagonal here this move to the upside if we fail to break if we fail to break up above this 3150 could still just be a b wave that we're tracking here and looking for a continuation to the downside in this orange c wave so that would be the same length as this move here so basically until we until we break um until we break through this point here of 3150 i wouldn't see this as a bigger move um a bigger impulsive move basically and we would just be expecting this to roll over to the downside because this would have been an a a b and then all of this would have ended up being a c wave so that's what we're looking out for phantom and i just want to say guys please be careful out there there's a lot of volatility on these fomc days so um if you are going to be trading please make sure that you've got the proper risk management in 
um, in place because we don't like to hear that people are getting wrecked or liquidating themselves. Remember, if there's no no stop loss, there's no trade. Be be sensible out there, guys. And you know the the platform we choose to use is Bybit. It's got a really great feature in there where you can you can see all these things before you even put the trade out. You can see where your liquidation is going to be and how much of a loss you would you would make um, at di different levels if you have a stop loss or take profit. Really is a great exchange. Look in the description below. There's a link for it. And um, yeah, if you want to talk more about risk management or anything to do with crypto, just jump into the Discord in the general chat area. Just add mention a member of staff. We'll be happy to help you out with anything. Okay, so yeah. Just be careful out there, guys. Please use the correct risk management, and we will see you in the next video. Keep safe, everybody.